but also it used to be like the news kind of reported what was going on. And now the news is trying to make what's going on, I feel. And it's mm. also not reflective of a lot of America. Like a lot of places I go in America, things are way normal. They yeah. think people out here are fucking out of their right, minds. Right. Even New York, a lot of times, like LA's lost their fucking mind. Yeah. It's a bunch of lonely mooks writing articles. You know what I'm saying? Who yeah. are disconnected, who have never even had any experiences right. that are just like writing articles just to create havoc. But the thing is, at this point, I don't think it's shaping society anymore. I think it's not relating to society. What, media or something? A lot of the media, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of the scary, like the even the scare tactic stuff. Yeah. It's like people look at it, but I don't think that they believe it anymore. Yeah. Do you see that weatherman recently? Yes. And that's a great example of it. The guy like yeah. is pretending he's fighting against the winds and, <laughs> and then the dudes walk by in their shorts. Yeah, they're just like, throwing out. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit, man. Bro, one of them ate a like um yeah, I think it was a sun chip or something and brought it to his mouth you can slowly see <laughs> and had no problem putting it in his mouth. Dude, if there's forty mile per yeah. hour wind, you can't get a sun chip in your fucking yeah, mouth no. and one fell it's swoop. Gone. It's gone. Because they're gonna literally you know, they're not the strongest of chip. <laughs> But that's, yeah, that's so crazy. And the best when he's on the grass and he's kind of moving his legs like yeah, he's like, surfing. I can't yeah. quite. Hug. Yeah. But yeah. how does it end though, man? I, some, it's so crazy. It's like, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to you and I'm thinking more and then I'll listen to Rogan and I'm thinking about, you know, hunting. Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering how does it all end? Do you think like we're headed towards this place where we're barely human anymore and we're all just like, oh, everything's man. a microwave? Or do you think we're headed towards this thing where it's like, you know, something happens, like mother nature gets pissed off enough at, at all the batteries and just, you know, brings us all down to our knees and then we become humans again. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, I think it's, like there's a, a crossroads that we're at right now, really, I feel like. And the trajectory is either if we continue the path we're on, we become cyborgs. Yeah. You know, and we're already getting there. You know, we've got our phones in our pockets, our external memory, our, you know, connection to the nodes and, you know, the constant immediate communication. Like we're definitely integrated into some larger uh intelligence <clears throat> yeah that, you know yeah broadband is the new oil that's what i've been thinking man yeah it's like or the whole thing because it's all unsustainable and it's all very very fragile you know a solar flare can wipe out all the electronics on one half of the globe in an in instant uh you know nuclear blast a, you know volcano an asteroid and there are a lot of ways shit can go wrong not to mention climate change and you know just all the unsustainable shit that we're doing. So if it, if that go, or a, like a disease, you know, can yeah. wipe out a whole bunch of people real fast. And, and it's not like, I'm not saying this park you know, wherever you want after that. Exactly, man. <laughs> Lots of room that. on the bus. Yeah, you park in the middle of the street. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good luck getting gas. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a book called A Short History of Progress that I often recommend to people. It's this really brief book, 150 pages or something, Ronald Wright. And it goes through um, empires and like how empires rise and fall. And he just goes like Rome and Greece and Sumeria and all these different empires. And he shows it's always the same thing. They do. It's like a life cycle. You know, you can just see it like, OK, this is the adolescence, this is adulthood. Now this is late adulthood. Wow. And if you look at that, like. He says each, every time, how does he say this? Uh, every time history repeats itself, the price is higher, something like that. Mm. Um, and he makes the point that all these other uh, um, empire collapses have been regional. And this is the first time that it's going to be global. Wow. Right. And they all collapse. Yeah. And so when this one does, it's going to be global. There won't be anywhere to go. There won't be any escape. There won't like people buying shit and land in New, Ze New Zealand. They think they're going to these Silicon Valley dudes think they're going to get away. They're not going to get away. There no. is no getting away. It's going to be planetary. Oh, I'm driving up to San Fran with a gun right out of the gate. That's for damn sure. Why San Fran? Oh, I don't know. I'm just joking. But it's like, um, yeah, I don't I, I wonder what it would really be like, you know, like what? And would it bring back like part of who we are as humans immediately? We might go to some of the things we were talking about in the beginning, like where it's like, 
you, like your instincts and all start to take over and we're not, I'm not worried about yeah. getting my, to my therapist at 2 PM, you know, <laughs> suddenly I've sharpened the, whatever the yeah. strongest thing is in yeah. my apartment. Right. And whatever I'm, was bothering you before is like nothing now. You find out who yeah. you are. Yeah. Like sometimes I, yeah. I just want to know who I am. Like, I, yeah. Like when the, when the shit hits the fan, you know? Yeah. Well, see, that gets back like, do to, you get pink to my wife. See, a, that's yeah. why I hang with her. Because post-apocalypse, she's my get-out-of-jail-free <laughs> card. <laughs> she'll amputate your leg. She'll fix you. Whatever's wrong with you, do she'll you fix it. Do you think part of you... D- she'll d- eat the, like, the, the... She'll kill the dog that I'm afraid to kill and cook it up. <laughs> and, and, cook and, like, it up. and it'll taste great. It, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. 